We're going to see what happens when we swap the moon with Jupiter's moon Ganymede. Let's go. Let's see if it'll retain its orbit first. So it looks like the orbit is fairly stable. It seems to be staying there. Let's check out what's happening on the surface. So at the moment, it looks like the life likelihood is sitting at about 0.001%. But that is steadily increasing if we look at it. So let's speed things up a bit and see what happens in a few years. So about five years later, it does look like the life likelihood has significantly increased and it's going up quite rapidly. Well, we're sitting at about a month a second right now and the orbit does seem to be stable. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and zoom up a little bit quicker now. So after another five years of orbiting Earth, it seems like the orbit is still quite stable and the life likelihood is at about 2% now. Let's go ahead and move forward another 50 years. Perfect, so the year's now 2077, so we've gained about 50 years since last and the life likelihood is now at 11%. And looking at it now, the, the temperature is looking like it's averaging around 61. It's sitting at about 11.6%. And it does still seem to be holding that stable orbit. Let's go forward another 100 years. Ganymede is holding its orbit and the life likelihood is still around 11%, but it hasn't gone up. But the Earth's similarity is still sitting around 60%, so that has gone down a little bit. Now let's jump to the year 3000 and see what's happening then. And again, everything seems to be about the same. So it just goes to show that there is signs of life on Ganymede if you put it in the exact same spot as the moon.